question. Not just one book. Okay, but I got a question. What? Everything on the planet, right, is written by a man, right? Yes. All right, so now the question is, which so one has... You. Okay, which one has prophecy? Bring it out. Prophecy. Prophecy. I'm going to give you a prophecy. Give me Bring Jeremiah 28, 8, uh, 15. Man, man that so, seek is... Okay, Let, let's see. Let's see. Bring Look at Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Bring it out. Therefore shall thy serve thine enemies. The God of the Bible said that the Latinos are going to serve their enemies. That's Cortez, right. Ponce de Leon, uh, all the, um, the yeah, conquistadors. Watch, no, God said they're your enemies. No, Not the white man. No, yes. watch this. Right. Think about it. And, and pay attention, brother. Yeah, Just give us five minutes. Enemies. Give us five minutes. Watch this. The Bible, the book that the white man says that they wrote, right? Yeah. It says that the white man is the enemy. Right. It can be written by the white man if he says, if God says that the white man is the enemy, right? right. Watch right. this. Read. Right. Which the Lord shall send against thee. God sent the white man against the Latinos. Read. And hunger for food and thirst for water. Who, uh, who do you pay for Aquafina and Deer Park? The enemy. The enemy. Uh, so God, look, you're, you're, you're bearing witness with the Bible. Read. And in nakedness for clothes. Look, it says made in China, right? Made in China, right? So made in China, right? It says, okay, so the Chinese man is your enemy. Read. Right. And in what of all things? Who sells weed to your women? The Chinese man. Bring it out. Right. Right. Who sells gas to your people? Bring the Arab out. man. So God says your enemies, right? Read. And he shall put a yoke of iron. Watch this. Biblical, biblical. Yeah, prophecy, prophecy. The Israelites were going to go into slavery on cha with chains around their neck. That's they were going right. to lose their identity. They're going to be called Hispanics, we're Puerto so Ricans, wrong. Dominicans. That's true. You're true. That's a good fact. But so watch this. Good. We're going to keep reading. Read. Read and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thee. Go ahead. Upon thy neck. Until we have destroyed thee. So what does it prove? That today we are destroyed as a people. We call ourselves Negroes. Right, we call right. ourselves uh, Hispanics, Puerto Ricans, Dominicans. Dominican means dog servant. Bring it out. That's, that's not a nationality. Read. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. God sent the white man against the Latinos. Read. From the end of the earth. From the other side of the planet. Read. As swift as the eagle. Hold on. What animal do the Americans symbolize? My brother. Right here. Hey, hey, brother right here with the white shirt and uh, the, right here, you three brothers. What, what, enemy, what um, symbol is America? What animal? When y'all landed on the moon, what did y'all say? The what landed? The eagle, right? What's on the back of a quarter? A eagle, watch, let's read it again. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, right? from one end of the earth, as swift as the eagle. Hold on, what did God say was going to happen to the Israelites? As swift as the eagle. So God said the real Jews were going to be conquered by the eagle. Look, it's okay, my brother. Look, I never knew the Bible. I was Catholic. Right. You got these brothers out here. We were Christian. Slave, right? Right. Yes, you are, according to the Bible. Where did the word slave come from? It's slavery, bro. Uh, uh, give me Exodus 20. Slave, I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to give it to you. Bring it out. I'm going to show you where it comes from. Yeah. Exodus 20 and 2. Right. It comes from here. Watch this. The book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. Bring it out. I am the Lord thy God. Go ahead. Which I brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Hold on. Egypt? I got a question. What does Egypt mean? You tell no, me. No, just tell me what does Egypt mean. I asked you first. Okay, no, no. So you don't know. Just say I don't know. Bring it out. Watch this. Read. Out of the know. house of bondage. Hold on. What does Egypt mean? House of bondage. What does bondage mean? Okay, so what were the Israelites doing in Egypt? Look, my brother, just give us time. What were the Israelites doing in Egypt? No, you didn't tell me where the word slave comes from. We just from. read it to you. Where does the word slave come from? We just read it. Read it no, again. It doesn't come from the Lord thy God, which I brought thee out of the land of what Egypt. Out of the house of bondage. How old is the history of slavery? So, so, For 10,000 no, years, it's no, the history no, of slavery. No, that's a lie, my brother. What? That's what? a lie. Read. Because I got a question. I got a question. Watch this. Watch this. Okay. Okay. I'm going to give you a, 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 a the word synopsis. The words come from the word slave. Okay. You're, sti you're sticking on a word. Yeah. Watch this. That's why it Let's was just deal like, with history. In Egypt, in Egypt, in Egypt, my brother, what were the Egyptians doing to the Israelites? Give me your Exodus 1. Let's see what they were doing. Bring it out. Yeah. Bring it out. The book of Exodus, chapter 1. and verse. be humble, my brother. Yeah. I, got I got you. Verse 11. Watch this. Therefore did they set over them taskmasters Go ahead. to afflict them with their burdens. A taskmaster is a slave master. Read. And they built for Pharaoh treasured cities. Hold on. It says in Egypt, we built for Pharaoh treasured cities. Right. I got a question. Who built the White House? We did. Slaves. Right. So That's you just right. use the word slaves. God said that the Israelites were slaves. Right. No, no. That's what the Bible says, my brother. The Bible. You, yes. Read. 
um, Treasure City, Python, and Ramsey. Okay, so I asked, hey, look, I'm keep asking you the basic questions. My brother, how are you? You're very well. Huh? Hablo español? Sí. Okay, hablo inglés? Sí. All right, so we're going to deal with English because I want him to be edified while he's leaving. Our people are so ignorant that they don't want to understand that we were slaves in Egypt. Right. Perhaps Hispanics and Native Americans right. built right. the pyramids. Right. 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 Who built the Mayan pyramids? Who built the Aztec pyramids? Who built America? We did. So you read the Bible as a historical book. It lines up with your history. Right. My sister, I know you with him. Guess what? The African-American woman and the African-American uh, man, they built up America. That's biblical history. Read. Verse 12, uh, but the more they afflicted them, uh, the more they multiplied and grew. Now, give me Lamentations 5 and 2. Watch this. Now, where are you from, my brother? Uh, my parents are from Mexico. Okay, I'm me? I'm from Honduras, but... Uh, your dad is from where? Honduras. Honduras. All right, that's Zebulon. All right, so your mom is from Issachar in the Bible. I want you to look at this. The Issachar is the Mexicans, and your dad is Zebulon, all right? So that makes you Zebulon. You are Zebulon, all right? right? So now watch this. Let's see what God says. Lamentations 5 and 2. Tell me if this fits your people. Read. The book of Lamentations, chapter 5 and verse 2. Read out. Our inheritance is turned to strangers. When they came over here, when the conquistadors came over here, right, and put us in slavery, watch this. They put us in slavery, right? It says your inheritance was given to another nation. So you don't own the land, the animals, the water, the resources. They took it from you, right? Yeah. That's real history, right? Yeah. Watch what God says. Read. Our houses to aliens. Hold on. What does God call the white man that conquered the Mexicans, the Puerto Ricans, the Dominicans, the African Americans? Read. Aliens. So don't they call Mexicans illegal aliens? Yeah. But how are we illegal aliens if we were on this side of the world right. and they came over here? Right. God says they're the aliens. Read. We are off. We are orphans and fatherless. Our mothers are as widows. Now that's that's some gruesome history right there. When they came over here, they raped our women, they killed the fathers, so the women became widows, right. and our children became orphans. That's why when you watch movies, you see all the little kids running around by themselves, but all their de their parents' bodies are on the ground. We have drunk in our water for money. Hold up, where do you buy water? Uh, from stores. Okay, what store? Um, Give me a name. What about Walmart? Uh, Walmart, yeah. Okay, Walmart. Who owns Walmart? No idea. The white man. Right the same people that conquered you, their descendants, they got the money to have Walmarts, Kmarts, a fool lions, right? Yeah. So right. God says your enemy, you're going to have to use your enemy for wants of everything, right? Watch this. Our wood is sold unto us. It says your wood. This whole side of the world, right, was for the Latino man, right? Let's just put it in that aspect. Every tree that they cut down belongs to you. Right. But they sell it to you at Home Depot. Bring it out. Come on, man. It's the Bible's a true book. Right. right. Read. Our necks are under persecution. Hold up. Let me go back to this. Our necks are under persecution. Guess who works $5 an hour and, and, and uh, does construction? Who works $5 an hour and does landscaping? The Mexicans, right? Yeah. They come over here, they jump over the border, and they have to do that, right? But this whole side, Texas was uh, Mexico. Right. California was Mexico. Right. They drew a, a line and said, look, you Mexicans can't come over the border. But we were the ones that owned this whole side of the world, right? Yeah. So you're reading about it in the Bible. Nobody ever told you you're an Israelite, right? No. You know why? Give me, give me Psalms 83. We were trying to deal with the brother earlier, right? But some people don't want to hear God's words. You want to know why? Because he's, he's comfortable in the condition that he's in. He's comfortable having a girl on the side and having sex with that girl and not marrying her. Right. He's uh, comfortable with how America grooms us to be nothing. But watch what God says. Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 83 and verse 1. Hey, my brother, my brother, where are you from? Florida? Are you American black? That's what they call you in America? They call him Mexican. Are you American black in America society? Oh, no, I'm hip. Look, look. No, no, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about oh, if, yeah, they, yeah, if yeah, they look yeah, at you, yeah. Yeah. they call you Haitian, Jamaican, black. Which one they call you? Black. Black, right? So I want you to look at this one, Judah. Bring it up. American black, right? So now your brother right here, he's Zebulon because his father is from Guatemala, uh, Panama, right? So we're reading about the Bible, and we're going to read how y'all were indoctrinated. Watch this. Read. Bring it up. The book of Psalms, chapter 83 and verse 1. Bring it up. Keep not thou solid, O God. Go ahead. Hold not thy peace. And be not still, O God. Go ahead. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. Now make, make sure you pay attention to this verse. It says your enemies come together. They have a, a little meeting with a whole bunch, a big round table, right? The UN, NATO, right? And they say, how do we keep black people in the hood? 
How do we keep Mexicans in jail? Right. How do we do that? They come up, they come with ideas, right? Watch this, but God is prophesying it in the Bible, read. And they that hate thee. How, how do they feel about the black man? Hate thee. Breonna Taylor, hate thee. Okay, all the Latinos that are getting shit back to Mexico, but they take your kids, what do they do? Hate thee. They hate you, read. Have lifted up the head. They're prideful. These people are prideful because look, my brother, they call you African American, right? That's two continents named after two white men. Right. Scipio Africanus, America of Vespucci. So they're calling you two white men. Every time they see you, they be like, man, that's two white dudes right there. Every time they see you, they call you a Hispanic, which means property of Spain. That's some pride to call the gods of the earth just regular things, right? Dog. Right. right, so watch this, read. They have taken crafty counsel. Crafty, isn't crafty counsel like sneaky? They do it behind your back. There's no black image or, or, or representation in the UN. Y'all don't have nobody to speak up for you. You don't have nobody to speak up for you, right? Read. Against thy people. Against what? Thy people. God has a people. That's why when you read the Bible, God said the Israelites were gonna go into slavery on slave ships. It didn't say the Chinese man. It didn't right. say the Arab man. Right. It says they have idols. Allah is an idol. You got white Jesus as an idol. It's Zeus. You got this man right here. This is just Zeus or Jupiter. They just whitewashed God's image, right? And they gave us a, a white Jesus. But in the Bible, Christ is a real man that died for the Israelites. Right. In the Bible, that's what it says. But they'll give you John 3.16, God's alone the world. They try to hit you with BS. Because guess what? John 3.16 was in the Bible when they hung Latinos on trees. When they raped your women and hung you on trees. So don't give me that John 3.16 when we're assimilated and now you have to be in the same job with me. Right. And right you up. can't say, you can't you can't be like service of a man. They gotta use a certain scripture to make you feel uh, less. And right. be like, hold up, man, I gotta be nice to my white buddy right here. Right. But you know he used to rape your people, your wives and stuff. Right how can you live at peace with them? They know how to manipulate the Bible. Right we're trying to show you the truth of the Bible. Watch what it says next. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. Go ahead. And consulted against thee. Oh, excuse me. And consulted against thy hidden ones. Go ahead. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. No, no, now that's the point, my brothers. In slavery, they said, you know what? How do we make the Latino hate the black man? Well, let's make him a Catholic. They go, yeah, but they're gonna put you, they're gonna put you in the house, and you're gonna be the house Negro, and he's gonna be the field Negro. That's all they did. It's right. called a conquer and divide. You ever heard that? So when they conquered us, guess what? We were in the same ships. They just dropped us off in Panama. They dropped us off in Mexico. They dropped us off in America, right? So that's it. That's the only thing difference between you two. Right. Like most stuff. But give me that, Jerry. Hold that real quick. Jeremiah 50, verse 32. Hey, uh, hey man. I uh, appreciate the uh, info. Hey, you got the flyer? Yeah, I got the flyer. Hey, look. Every time, look. Every time you see a brother that looks African American, Jamaican, Haitian. You gotta understand that he's an Israelite. Look, from the southern kingdom, these three tribes are the southern kingdom, and the Latinos and Native Americans are northern kingdom. So God says we're brothers. Right. But guess what the white man pays billions of dollars for? So that you can stay a Catholic, he can stay a Christian, or a Pentecostal, or a Baptist. And guess what, y'all won't join together. So we gotta come out of those religions, learn the true history of the Bible, and then we gotta come back as a nation of Israel, all right? That's right. So watch this, before you leave, one last scripture. Watch this, Jeremiah 50, 32. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 50 and verse 33. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel. So the children of Israel are the Latinos, my brother. Watch this. Bring it up. And the children of Judah. That's the Moors. Have you ever heard of the Moors? Okay, the Moors ruled Europe, Russia, Ukraine, all the stuff that the white man is battling for right now. The black man owned that thing. The southern kingdom, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. They were called the Dark Ages. Why is it Dark Ages? Because black kings ruled the planet. That's right. right. So guess what? That makes the Latinos on this side what? What color were we? Brown. No, I just said it. What, what? If it was called the Dark Ages in 1400s, what, what color were we? Oh, black. Black. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. 
The scriptures is proof. I U I C, we deliver the truth.